Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing the linear factorization theorem. So if we have if f of x is a is n degree polynomial function, Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing the linear factorization theorem. Let us define. If f of x is n degree polynomial function, where n is greater than 0, then f has exactly n linear factors, such that f of x is equal to a sub n quantity x minus c sub 1 derivative sign x minus c sub n where c sub 1 c sub 2 and c sub 3 are complex numbers now to better understand let's have this problem write a cubic function whose zeros are 1 0 and negative 2 so take note, in our theorem, we have linear factorization. So let us find the factors, then we're going to find the cubic function. So write the cubic function whose zeros are 1, 0, and negative 2. So we're going to find cubic function. Let's say the cubic function is f of x is equal to the given zeros are 1, 0, and negative 2. So we have x minus 1 times x plus 0 and x plus 2. We're just going to get the reverse process in getting the roots. So studying the given, so our x are x is equal to positive 1, x is equal to 0, and x is equal to negative 2. If we're going to move 1 on the left side, that will become x minus 1. If we're going to move 0, that will become x plus 0. And if we're going to move negative 2, that will become x plus 2. That's why we have the following factors in our theorem. So we have, we can use FOIL method. So this can be written as x plus 0, that can be written as x. So that can be written as x. Then we have x minus 1, then x plus 2. Now we have x. Then, okay, if you want, you can distribute x first. So that this will become x times x x squared x times negative 1 negative x then copy x plus 2 then foil method we have x squared times x we have x cubed x squared times positive 2 positive 2x negative ne positive 2x we have exponent 2 again let us repeat x squared times x x cubed x squared times 2, that is positive 2x squared. Next, negative x times x, pas uh, negative times positive, negative x squared. And negative x times positive 2, negative 2x. Now, combine like terms. So we have x cubed 2 minus 1 so positive x squared minus 2x this is now our cubic function so check our exponent is 3 has a degree of 3 so this is a cubic function so our function is x cubed plus x squared minus 2x. Let's have another example. 
And now let's have this problem. Find the third degree polynomial function f of x with real coefficients that has negative 3 and i as zeros such that f of 1 is equal to a. So study our problem. We have the zeros negative 3. So our x is negative 3. And we have i. So we have x is equal to negative i. And of course, we have positive i. Now, writing our function, the f of x is equal to quantity we have x plus 3 times x plus i, i, and x minus i. So we have a given f of 1 is equal to 8. So we're going to write a here or a sub n. Okay, now this will not affect our factors here. Now solving, we have f of x is equal to a times x plus 3. We need to foil. So we have x times x, so we have x squared x times negative i, that will give us negative i x. Next, positive i times x, that will give us positive i x. And negative i times, uh, positive i times negative i, this will give us, we know that, that will give us negative i squared. Okay. Now, Combine like terms. So we have f of x is equal to a times x plus 3. And we have x squared. This will, be, this will be canceled out. Minus, we know that i is equal to square root of negative 1. So we have... We're going to interchange that. We have square root of square root of negative 1. So this will give us negative 1. Okay. So get the square root of this. will be cancelled out. So this will become negative 1. So f of x is equal to a times x plus 3 x squared negative times negative positive 1 again let us use the foil method here so f of x is equal to a quantity x times x squared that is x cubed x times positive 1 positive x 3 times x squared positive 3x squared 3 times positive 1 positive 3 Combine like terms. If you don't have, just rearrange. Uh, arrange the exponent from highest to lowest. So we have f of x is equal to a x cubed plus 3x squared plus x plus 3. Now, we have f of 1 is equal to a. So we're going to change f at 1. So if we have f of x is equal to a times x cubed plus 3x squared plus x plus 3. So we're going to change f of x to 8 when x is equal to 1. So substitute all x to 1. So a times 1 cube plus 3 times 1 squared plus 1 plus 3. So we have 8 is equal to, this time we're going to get the value of a. a, 1 cube is 1 plus 
1 squared is 1 times 3, so 3 plus 1 plus 3, and 4. So 8 is equal to 1 plus 3 plus 4, that is 8, then copy 8. So we have, divide by A, so A is equal to 1. So substituting in our f of x, so change this to 1, so this will give us, for our final answer, the function is x cubed plus 3x squared plus x plus 3. This is now our cubic function that satisfies our zeros, negative 3, and i. And our condition, f of 1 is equal to e. So that is the linear factorization theorem. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.